Hello and welcome to this overview of the new features in uh, the MNMS Suite version 6.8. In the new version, we've uh, introduced a few new features as well as uh, generic improvements and a few bug fixes. Uh, the first feature I want to mention is the subnet discovery from Rarush, where we uh, import uh, and synchronize uh, uh, subnets which are on Rarush. We do this uh, by uh, SNMP and uh, we see information in minimum suite such as the VLAN ID, the gateway and uh, and the which router uh, routers the uh, subnet is on. Uh, the second feature I want to mention is the uh, the new support for Unbound DNS server. Uh, we've been supporting uh, Unbound on our Menomai Suite uh, appliances thus far, but uh, with the new support, we've actually had the ability to add uh, Unbound servers on any Linux uh, operating system which we support, and uh, you can manage it just the same way as uh, Unbound on our caching appliances. We've also added uh, native support for 64-bit Linux. So when you're inst installing Minimus Central or uh, the the uh, DNS or DHCP server controllers on, on Linux, you no longer need to install the 32-bit compatibility libraries. Uh, we've also improved the DNSSEC management on Windows, uh, where we've uh, added the ability to manage uh, keys and key rollover and uh, and, uh, and added its signing par parameters. Uh, last but not least is the first use wizard, which we've uh, drastically improved uh, uh, from the last version. Uh, the first use, first use wizard is, uh, uh, is run in the first time that you run Minimize after installing uh, from, from scratch. And uh, in the new version, uh, we actually automatically discover and uh, and import the TNS and DHCP servers in, in an Active Directory domain, as well as uh, integrating with uh, AD sets and services uh, automatically. Uh, 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 next is just to uh, demonstrate these features. Uh, I think it's uh, best if we start with the first use wizard. The first use wizard is run uh, the first time you run uh, log into Minimize after installing it from scratch, and I want to demonstrate that functionality in the new version. So we start by adding uh, license keys. So I'm grabbing here from the clipboard. And uh, uh, new here is the is the ability to discover the TNS and uh, DHCP servers. As you see, uh, we found uh, three D DNS servers in the, in the environment. Uh, uh, I want to uh, add just uh, one of them uh, for demonstration. And uh, now it will actually search for the DHCP servers in the environment as well. And it uh, found uh, three TTP, ser TTP servers as well. I also just want to start by importing one of these servers for demonstration. The next step is uh, uh, to auto integrate with AD sets and subnets. Uh, you used to have to go to uh, system settings and enable this explicitly before, but in the new version, we have actually just um, made that a bit easier. So a read-only access is provided uh, uh, by default. So We'll just gonna do that. Here we have a summary of what will uh, what will be done. It's gonna add these DNS and DHCP servers and uh, add the eight seven subnets. So the uh, now when you open up Minimize, the DNS and DHCP servers are already in the system. We also have uh, the AT servers, uh, AD set set uh, forest here, uh, and. Uh, and you have a, a environment which is has a lot of data in it from the start. So the next feature I want to demonstrate is the subnet discovery from routers. 
for the uh, last few years, MetaMessions had the ability to collect the archives from the routers and uh, show when the IP addresses were last uh, routed by the routers. But uh, with the new version 6.8, we are uh, extending that functionality to also show uh, the subnets which are on the routers. Uh, to enable that, we go here to uh, SNP profiles and uh, gonna add a new profile here. And uh, these routers are actually from our internal network just for demonstration. But you can see that uh, we can select uh, where we want to uh, synchronize uh, both the IP addresses from the archives and the subnets uh, from the routers. When I click OK here and uh, click scan, uh, the uh, minimize is actually going to pull the routers for, for this inf information uh, and you're gonna uh, see the subnets uh, uh, appear here uh, from the routers. The, the subnets on the routers are uh, highlighted by the uh, by the name of the routers. If a subnet exists on multiple, you'll see uh, multiple routers, you'll see both of those uh, names. Uh, you'll see the interface ID on the uh, which is generally the VLAN ID for, for VLANs or the interface description which uh, gives an indication of which physical interface that is. Uh, if we open up any of these uh, subnets, uh, we to find an example here. Uh, like for instance here, you, you'll see the, the archives immediately appear. So it's also more, more transparent uh, what you, which subnets you're getting the archives. Uh, this not only reduces the uh, need for manual labor, so you don't, don't need to add uh, this information manually into minimize, but this is also like kept uh, up to date uh, because it's synchronized uh, every 15 minutes from, from the routers. Next, I want to demonstrate uh, the support uh, for Unbound DNS server. Uh, to add a uh, Unbound DNS server, you basically go to the same old uh, Add DNS server dialog. <coughs> but you now have the ability to add uh, Unbound servers here. The Unbound server shows up uh, uh, in the list of DNS servers, and you can manage uh, the Unbound server just as any uh, other uh, minimized caching appliance, you, including managing the local zones or uh, managing the uh, options and adding forward zones, etc. So we have basically all the same management functionality you need for uh, for Unbound. Next, I want to demonstrate uh, the improved DNSSEC management on Windows. Since the introduction of Windows Server 2012, uh, Minimize has had the ability to, to uh, sign and unsign uh, DNSSEC zones on, on Windows DNS. Uh, uh, but with the new version, we are uh, extending that functionality so you can uh, manage the DNSSEC uh, key and uh, key rollover and uh, in general just the DNSSEC properties uh, once the zone has been sent. I want to uh, go through the, this procedure by creating a zone here on, on the Windows Server 2012 server. Uh, and I'm gonna sign it uh, from the context menu just by the default parameters uh, in the beginning. And you'll see that it's already already designed. But what's new in version 6.8 is the DNSSEC properties dialog here. Uh, here you can view and uh, modify all of the DNSSEC properties, the keys, the rollovers, uh, and uh, the various uh, assigning parameters. And then I wanted to touch base on the new native 64-bit Linux support. Uh, 
this means that uh, you no longer need to install the 32-bit compatibility libraries when you're installing uh, the Man and Mice uh, components on a, on, a, on a fresh Linux uh, 64-bit server. Uh, a note on this, though, is that uh, clients which have already installed the, the earlier 32-bit uh, Man and Mice components are not automatically upgraded to uh, a 64-bit uh, component, but uh, if uh, the new installer is uh, rerun, uh, it will actually upgrade the components from 32-bit uh, to 64-bit. And uh, that wraps up the overview of the new features in version 6.8. Uh, please review the uh, full release notes at our documentation site at docs.minimize.com. Thank you.